tardes to everyone. I hope everybody's doing well, blessed, and enjoying family. Bueno, mi gente, first and foremost, muchísimas gracias to everyone again for you guys' words, prayers, and for your amazing words of support. From the Quota, I appreciate every one of you. Now, to get into the story on hand, I would like to say, you know, i done this story, I don't know, like five times, and just honestly, every time I do a recording about a Billy, I never listen to them, but I am doing so with this one because uh, I really dislike this individual for so many reasons, so I'm trying to keep it as respectful as possible because at the end of the day, I want to put it out there, but with my message and, of course, how it should always be, you know, respectful, at least to put it in you guys' ears. So, however it comes out, I'm just going to put it out. I'm not going to even listen to it because uh, I know I've been in my with you guys. I've just been trying to get this out to you. But for this one, I'm going to touch on, on Bat Marquez from El Sol, San Diego. Well, you know. I know bad just the palabra. You know, I've never had the pleasure of being under the same compa or anything like that, you know. Just uh did you see directes and uh, a lot of things that he was doing in, in Tijuas it got to my ears and how as all of them have stepped on camaradas and do things, right? But I do want to emphasize on this one how all of them are able to turn a blind eye when it comes to things they do in Mexico to where they uphold in Califas as trash, basura. And they keep pushing with them. As you guys know, he's still in the wiggle. He's still good. He's pressing another pilis. And camaradas no se diga, right? But anyway, you know, bat the first time I really got word palabras the bat was when we actually messed messed with cheeks from old time. And uh we did some hollers with some some girls which I wanna speak on, you know, from cheeks. But everything went good up until the point that they had to uh, uphold their end. Then it went bad and uh, they basically left left the girls hanging when there was promises made beforehand, right? And I had involved my family at this time, so I will get into that story. You know, the first time that I had serious crossings with Bat was... Uh, Basically, he had requested if we could help set up something near the airport in Tijuas to the point where he could have, you know, people get to Tijuas and not have to hunt around in Tijuas because uh, it's not a small city, right? So I asked uh, a well-known or respected uh, camarada of mine if he could keep an eye out and uh, yeah, you know. Literally, like, right in front of the airport, there was a pad that belonged to to a friend of his grandma. So she was selling it real cheap. Like, I'm talking about real cheap, you know. And uh, anyways, we got it. And uh, Bad was sending his, uh, his soldados there. You know, by this time, a lot of people didn't mess with him. Besides Pili's in that aspect that uh, he was known to be a big old tweaker. 
you know, but uh, he was able to get his hands on uh, on Halle, so he was blessing other Pili's, and uh, that's all that matter, period. But, you know, when it came to, you know, Corona from Pozole and uh, Bat and even Popoy, may him rest in peace, but facts are facts, right? To me, they were, they were, they were no good. They're basura people, and uh, a lot of people are going to get on my comments against me of this, but facts are facts, man. They were working for the Arellanos. That should say it all in itself. You know, and uh, when the brothers were out, as you guys know, Pop Boy was their chief of security. And uh, basically, he threw the cuetazos when it came to his gatilleros, Arellanos, right? So, they were known as Mataninos. We'll address Popeye first, right? This is, when, when Bat joined him, this had already happened. So, I'm not including Bat with this. But, you know, they were looking for an individual at one point. And they literally went out to Michoacan, to a little rancho. And, uh. I don't know exactly if Popoy was there at this time, but uh, I do know that that cuetazo came from him, right? Well, not from him. He threw it, but it came from, from the brothers. Basically, they couldn't find that individual. So he ordered for them to hunt the whole family down. Everyone. You guys can look this up. It's on all over internet, right? where they found every single family member in that town. They took them out to a field, laid them down, and put an AK-47 slug in their head. Now, do picture this. is viejitas, women, primos, jefes, kids, infants, because there was three of them that were literally months old. And just to send a message to the vato that was the one dealing with them, which he, they never found him. It was just the familia, right? And as you guys know, Popoy kept pushing up until the day that he passed on. He was still active working with them. But then after this, he still got blessed because the feria and the hal is more important than than whatever his actions were, right? It just goes to show you how they could uh, look outside because, uh, well, at least in my case, what is taught with me is no matter what you are, where you are in the world, you still are what you are. You to uphold it to the utmost, you know, and uh, it wasn't the case here because they were in Mexico and uh, they could be good in Cali and still be doing their BS in Mexico with innocent people. Now when it came to Bat again, I don't know if everybody's aware that Bat was working for El Tigrillo Arellano, right? This was after the brothers had gotten caught. But he had put the, the asses or the means for members to get as much material as they needed from Tijuas up, right? And, uh, again, there's a reason why evil didn't mess with the Arellanos. They didn't mess with that. There's a reason why the old man did not mess with them. And there's a reason why none of the Peelies mess with them. Peanut butter, at itself, being in Tijuas, did not mess with them. Because, you know, that was in charge of Las Casas. You know, and I'm not talking about casitas, las casas de espera. And what these are is basically it's where the sicarios are, right? It's different in a city than where I was wiggling at. You know, in the city, they have these casitas de espera and uh, the sicarios are there. And uh, whenever they're called, they just punch out to take care of business. But in these casitas de esperas is where they take the individuals that for one sense or another they mess up with the, 
with the Arianos or the cartel. And Bat was there, you know, and uh, basically uh, there was hyenas. Uh, there was always hyenas, right, doing their thing just as man. And they would get picked up. But they weren't getting dealt with, you know. Basically, they all, so they were gang raped. Now, did Bat participate in this casitas? I don't know. He wasn't charged, though. So the way Mexico works is the sicarios ain't going to do nothing unless they got that okay, right? They will gang rape him and then send them back out. You know, this is well-known knowledge in Mexico about this individual. Now, why do I know? I have told a story about a, about a cook. I'm not sure if I had put it here. And it was... Uh, Ongo Stormy from uh, from Nevada, you know, and uh, she went to Browning University. She was she was bad when it came to acids. She studied it. Anyways, you know, uh, me and someone else had asked Stormy to to go to that house we have found this individual and uh, basically help get a couple of coops going. So they were able to make something, right? And they were going to take care of her. And uh, something went wrong, you know, with the Ferrin Rojo, the acid to sit it, and Something went wrong, period. And, uh, you know, they basically punished her the way they were doing their little scandalous stuff. And uh, later down the years is when I, I had Mexico and I had Stormy living with me. You know, wiggling with me in Culiacan and other states. And, uh, you know, there was an issue up, bros, that uh, another Pili actually had words with Bat when it came to it. You know, because Bat, he was one of the ones that that abused the Stormy, just to say it nicely. You know, and she was taking care of the, the section years later over here, so he wanted answers. And for all the other extra stuff. So basically what I want to put out is, you know, this is the individual that in all means he's a, he's a dope fiend. He's not a tecato, man, because he likes, well, I bet he is now, but he like on the streets, he was a tweaker to the bone. To the point that Arellanos could not trust in him no more. They send him out to take care of the casitas instead, you know, because all that trusting him with Feria and, and, and Jale, even though he, He's been down there loyal since Popoy. They, they couldn't do that. That's how much of a dolphin he was. A tweaker. But in this casistas, he starts doing his shady stuff. You know. Instead of doing it the way, you know, excuse me if I sound cold-blooded. But, you know, if a vato, if you're in them casitas and a vato messes up, the guidelines in Mexico is go pick him up. If he runs, lay him there. If not, pick him up, torture him a few days, and then go ahead and, you know, do your thing and uh, throw him out somewhere and make a point. Why not with Hainas? You know, and excuse me I, if I sound whatever, but uh, if they're out there doing their thing and they have him sit on them to the point to, to clip members or rob them or whatever, then they should get the same treatment, right? Tie up, beat up, and make a point. Not do something that belongs to scoria ass gente, you know, dirty ass people, which is rape them over and over again and uh, and let them go. Why? Because they know they're tweakers. They're gonna mess up and levanten las otra vez and let's party, let's boogie. When there's no need for that, man. When uh, in Mexico. When you're in that mix, there's thousands of high enough. But now my question I want to put out today is, this guy is still in ADX. I don't think there's a member that don't know this about this guy. Because he actually had an arrest in Mexico. There's paperwork that him and his crew were doing this. They got bailed out, but it's still there. You know, they found, just to put it on the surface, they found five high enough butt naked, and they said everything. They had him there for two weeks. 
raping them day in, day out. But he's still good. He's still an ADX now, politicking, was politicking against Sherman, putting homies on the hat, you know, still controlling whatever he controls. And uh, nothing has happened. So for all the hardcore camaradas, you know, disculpen, I got this question for you. What happened to the legend, to the hardcore Billy, you know? There's a lot of people under this cat and they glorify him. When in reality, they don't know what's really there, you know. That's why I <laughs> dispense him. But when I hear this, I, I laugh, you know. I had the displeasure of literally rubbing elbows. You know, in the system, it was a hard thing. You only saw the peelies when you took care of business when I was in there, period. But you still ran into them and not rub elbows in the, in the activa with them. You just were sitting in a cell, implementing or taking orders from them. That's it. But you know, I have so much stuff that I, I could literally like pinpoint you guys to look up and you will see homeboy's name and or picture. And so you guys will see that what he's about really. But, you know, I don't want to push that out, that on the channel, you know. I don't want, to me, I even talk about the air issue, is the art issue is, is ugh. you know, I got no tolerance for it, sincerely, you know. I got raised by a woman and sisters and daughters, it, you know, it's, uh, they go back to, oh, it was a tweak, it wasn't me, come on. If Homer was really sincere, he should come out and say why they shut the house down in front of the airport in Tijuas. What they pulled out. What were they doing with kids? I'm not going to even touch on it, but to all those that glorify this individual. But anyways, the message is, you know, for the youngsters, don't get lied to. You go up in there mandatory have to follow something from this tecatos dolphins tweakers whatever you want to say you know and then that day it's nothing but lies they don't do it but they cut their juggler for it so just value yourself value your time value your freedom stay true as i always said to those that deserve to be true to your homeboys, your family, yourself, those that are going to respond right. Those that come out and lie to you on how things are, just say, yeah, yeah, Simon, and rub that off your shoulder, you know, because it's all lies. But anyways, mi gente, I hope I made sense in this video. To be sincere, I'm only touching up on this individual because uh, it's been requested by uh a subscriber and dispense if it's not what you thought but that that's why i was ignoring touching on that because uh it uncomforts me and it don't comfort it, it it moves me but anyways with this said i'm gonna go ahead and uh, end it here i will continue on my story and uh if you guys don't mind i would like to go live tomorrow at seven if you guys would give me the honor but uh, do leave a comment and let me know, you know, if you guys think that now nah, I already did it uh, Wednesday or Thursday, I don't remember. You know, the last thing I want is to uh, to come out negative with you guys. You know, I'm not on here for that. I'm on here to, to conversate with you guys, to be more close with you guys. So, you know, you guys been amazing to put, amazing, excuse me, to put my message out there. And, man. You know, God's not only blessing me, believe me, with uh, with waking up every day after March, as I wasn't supposed to. But it's ble He's also blessing me to see kindness, love from every one of you, and uh, I'm forever grateful. You know, almost 45 years old, and I'm barely starting to get to know this. And how? 
<laughs> with so many issues that it's even difficult to even breathe and walk. But I'm thankful. From the heart, I'm thankful. Anyways, stay true to yourself and loyal to your loved ones. I send my love. God bless everyone. Oh, <laughs>